In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect a custom domain name with your wizard website in just two easy steps. So the first thing you will need is to have purchased a domain and we recommend using Namecheap or GoDaddy, which are the two examples we'll share today. But you can use any domain registrar if you already have an existing domain. So once you've searched up and purchased a domain, the first thing you need to do from your dashboard is go into my account and click domain. So here you will see the option to add a custom domain, click the button. And so what we need to do on our domain account is to add an A record. Now, if you need any help with this, I recommend you contact the support on your domain registrar, but I'll also walk you through both Namecheap and GoDaddy's process. And this is the same general process for any domain registrar. So I've logged into my Namecheap account and I've purchased a domain you can see right here. The first thing you need to do is click manage. Once you click manage, you're going to click into advanced DNS here on this top bar. Once this loads, you should see this add new record button here. Now there may be some records that are existing. And if there are, don't worry, because when we add this record, it should delete all of these records. So let's try that now. And if it doesn't delete the other records, make sure you manually delete them. So we'll click add a new record and we're adding an A record. Now here's the value which we just copied, which is the at from the wizard instructions. And now you just copy the value right here and you can even type it in manually, but you can paste that in and then set this TTL, just leave this automatic and just click the check mark to save changes. Great, so now you can see this is the only host record. It's the A record we just added. If you see any additional ones, make sure to hit the trash can to delete any of them so this is the only one remaining. Once you've done that, all you need to do is enter that URL which you bought and then click connect. And you will see this message right here that your custom domain will be connected within 24 hours. And when it is connected, I'll show you what that looks like. So let me also show you how to do this on GoDaddy. Now that we're here, go to the top menu and go into DNS. And underneath DNS, we're going to go into Manage Zones. So in Manage Zones, you might need to put that domain name again. Uh, so here I searched it up and then I'm in the settings. And you will see a records section right here. All you have to do is click Add. And we're gonna do the same process as we did with Namecheap. It's an A record. We're going to take the host here, copy, paste and it points to the target value, which is here. So we copied that and we just copy and paste. And you can just leave this to the default one hour and click save. And that's it. So you wanna make sure this is the only A record in your account. If you see another one, make sure again to click this and hit the trash can so that this is the only A record. You'll have some default records here as well. So once you've done that with either you know, Namecheap, GoDaddy, or your domain registrar. And if you do have any troubles, make sure you use the contact us and contact their live chat or their support. And I'm sure they can walk you through setting up an A record. All you have to do is click connect and you will see this message right here that your custom domain will be connected within 24 hours. And when it is connected, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so as you can see, my custom domain is now showing in my dashboard. This means that the custom domain connection was successful. You should also receive an email with confirmation that it was a success. If there's any issues or your domain is not connected within 24 hours, make sure to use our live chat support feature here in the bottom right, and we will help you as soon as possible. And when you go visit domain, the last thing you'll see is that your new custom domain should now be connected. If you wish to disconnect your custom domain, all you have to do is click disconnect here, then go back into your domain registrar like Namecheap. And all you would have to do to delete the domain is to delete the A record which you created. Now you can use your domain for anything else you want and it's no longer connected to your wizard site.